Alrighty, yo, what's up, guys? It is Bazza here today, back with another video. Hope everyone is doing absolutely fantastic. Guys, within the last 24 hours, we have received some new information regarding the PS5 controller and the actual size. There has been hands-on footage of this, like, really it's just it's not even leaks this is just straight up it has been shown the controller size with a ps4 comparison as well and some pretty good um images that really go ahead and show in depth where these size uh i guess changes and enlargements actually can be seen on the ps5 controller and how it compares to the ps4 controller that we've grown to love and know over the last seven years so yeah personally i really liked the ps4 controller but i'm looking forward to a change and hopefully it is just some tweaks and changes that really pioneers this controller into being perfect um but yeah if you guys haven't already make sure you go ahead and subscribe i'd appreciate it and more importantly i've been streaming on twitch most days we've been currently playing rl craft that's been fun frustrating but um yeah come watch me twitch.tv slash baza with a capital z at the end don't forget that but yeah link below but um yeah so recently guys the controller has been announced and i'll try and throw up a little bit of footage here um, but you've obviously seen the images and the ps4 right next to the ps5 controller now i did and a lot of other people already had speculation that it was going to be bigger it just sort of looks that way but now we do have uh confirmation and yeah confirmation on that that it definitely is going to be bigger and it does definitely start to look a little more like the xbox one controller or just previous xbox controllers it's interesting how from the ps3 started off as a tiny controller terrible controller the ps4 it made a massive improvement Improvement on that and now we're going up even bigger um, with the ps5 controller and i think the main takeaway with the ps5 controller yes it is bigger but it also seems a little more streamlined and curved and that's what gives me the xbox sort of vibes and the shape it's less uh i don't know it's like the ps4 and the ps3 controllers were really pointy they sort of just made um more of a distinct turn and had less curves i feel like this one's more curved and streamlined with the ps5 like around the outside of the left and right sort of um hand grips um so yeah i really like that though i think it's gonna be good hopefully um it's not too big okay that is one concerning thing honestly because i feel like the ps4 controller was already sort of too big for people with really small hands so hopefully like those people that had small hands then have either grown hands or have come accustomed to um the bigger ps5 controller so um yeah that will be interesting hopefully it's not a problem for too many people but i'm going to throw this image up on screen now which is basically the ps5 controller with an outline of the ps4 controller over the top so this actually really shows you where that extra um length and size has been implemented into this controller and you can see it is on the hand grips on the left and right side towards the bottom right and the bottom left where it seems to be a little wider uh, a little um it's got a little bit more length as well so um yeah that's where these ma uh, ma i guess main improvements and or i guess improvements is what hopefully they're going towards all these changes should technically be for the better that's what we're hoping um and not just a change because why not you know it's not good to change something when um it's fine and i felt like the ps4 controller was fine but you know there were some people that still had some criticism of it and i i see that and i acknowledge that so hopefully this ps5 controller is definitely a step in the right direction and maybe these size uh, improve, uh size changes were because of the new haptic feedback stuff or stuff internally inside the controller or it could be something to do with the new triggers that have that new tension feedback that you can actually adjust and maybe that's made the actual internals of the trigger um, become a little bit bigger than they were on the previous controllers in reality and i guess making the size bigger overall maybe that's why I'm not really sure why if there's a reason to that or if the reason for making the controller bigger is more of a um, comfort, uh, comfort thing and like an actual 
um, use feature to actually make it more usable and just comfy in the hand if it's one of those type of things. I don't know, who really knows, but regardless guys, I think the controller looks great. I'm excited to get my hands on it and hopefully um, it is not a bad improvement or a bad uh, change when it comes to the size. Um, I'm sure there would be the option to use the PS4 controller on it if it really comes down to it being a terrible controller. If that is the case, then I do think we'll be able to use uh, the PS4 controller on the PS5 as we were able to use the PS3 uh, uh, sorry, as we were able to use the PS4 on the PS3. So, who knows? We'll see. But, uh, yeah, guys, that is basically it for the video. Hope you did enjoy. Make sure you go ahead and, once again, follow my Twitch down below. And, as well, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll uh, be around with more PS5 updates and videos like that. Thanks for watching. Peace out and bye-bye.